Well, you can see here down the uh, left uh, column here near the bottom, STO with the arrow. Okay, that means store, and this is a really handy feature, especially when you're doing uh, some calculated, uh, uh, some more difficult calculations. What you can do, say for example, in this problem, we want to find out what the Y value is when X equals negative one half. We want to put negative one half in here, and you can see there's, you know, squaring. There's a, a lot of negative numbers. There's fractions, and you know, especially like on a standardized test, you, know, you might be pressed for time, or you just want to check your work. This store feature can be really helpful. So let me show you how it works. First thing you want to do is you want to type in the value that you want to store. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in uh, negative one half, so negative one divided by two. I'm just putting it in parentheses, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the store key. Okay, so it, just press that, it shows the arrow, and I'm just going to put uh, the variable here, x. Okay, so what that's doing is it's storing it under the variable x. So I'm just going to press enter. Okay, so negative one half, of course, is the same as negative 0.5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to type in this equation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. So we've got, let's see, negative two-thirds. So negative two-thirds, okay, x squared. So I'm using my variable x, okay, squared, okay, minus... And I'm putting the fractions in parentheses, as you can see. One fourth x plus two fifths. Again, I'm just going to put that in parentheses, so it treats it like a group. So now, what the calculator is going to do is it knows that uh, negative one half is stored under the value for x. So when I press enter, it's going to automatically go ahead and put that value in for x. So let's go ahead and see how that works out. Now you can see it's coming out to this long decimal here. Now what we can do if we want to write it as a fraction is we can go over here to math on the left side. See math. And then see that first one, it says FRAC, frac, fraction, right? We're going to press enter and enter one more time. And you can see it's putting it into a fraction in lowest terms for us. So 43 over 120. So again, this is just a quick uh, handy feature that the T84 and T83 and some other graphing calculators have. It's uh, that store key right there. Just remember to put the value in first, then hit the store key, and then put what variable uh, you want that stored underneath and hit enter. So I hope this uh, video helped you to understand how to work with your T84 a little bit uh, more efficiently. Subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutorials on Myers Math Tutor and YouTube channel, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.